Hi everyone. So the first video I made was how to exit the market with a bearish divergence. So now I want to show you how to enter the market with a bullish divergence. Now I'm looking at um silver. This is a silver USD chart. And if you see here, while price was going lower, price was dropping, the RSI was showing us a bullish divergence here. So, how do you enter? What confirmation are you looking at? Well, right here you can see that there is a pin bar, there is a candlestick that shows you that there is a bullish pressure in this market. But what supports your argument of this bullish pressure? is an increase in volume now if you look at the volume from this green candle to this you will see that volume buy volume was increasing so this candlestick was supported by a buy volume so once you see this kind of um, price action you can enter because there's a bullish divergence volume is increasing though price is decreasing but telling you that strength is entering this market now um i don't know if there's another example i can quickly show you on this chart okay let's quickly use this um this area for bullish divergence now this is another area of um, price is dropping price is dropping this is it volume is increasing buy volume is increasing now when i say volume is increasing is a buy volume buy volume is increasing and there's also a bullish divergence here so basically you can use that on all time frames to enter to enter the market when there is a bullish divergence let's come to cryptocurrency let me see ethereum usdt so i've looked at silver and i quickly want to look at the ethereum usdt chart okay so on the ethereum usdt chart we see um i want to see where there is a buy volume at any point in time now um, on the Ethereum USDT chart, this is another example. The while price was dropping here, this is price. Price was dropping here. You can see that the buy volume began to increase gradually. This is it. And the RSI was also giving you this signal. So these are opportunities. To enter the market you can see this is the buy volume increasing so these are signals to enter the market these are signals to enter the market supported by RSI supported by volume now let me see if there's another opportunity here so this is the weekly time frame guys but you can decide to do this strategy on the four hours two hours one hour time frame it will work so I'm just trying to show you how to use it to buy, to enter or to enter the market. I want to see a recent example, but there's no recent example. So finally, let me look at another chart. Um, let me see USD, uh, Euro USD. Now this is Forex. We've done commodities. We've done um, cryptocurrency. And now let's do Forex. The Euro USD chart. All right. So. When we look at the Euro USD chart on the one week time frame, um, okay, okay, this is not okay. This is a, a this is price crashing. This is price crashing. All right. This is bullish divergence. This is it. This is a bullish divergence because the RSI. Is no longer going lower and then it, this is supported by an increase in volume which is nice so from the from this point henceforth onward we began to trend higher so this is a classic example let me look for another chart let me see a u d euro 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 a u d chart now um, let's look at this the AUD chart. I'm looking at the weekly time frame because um, the signals will be clear on the weekly time frame. But this one doesn't have volume. Let me look for another one that has volume. Euro AUD chart. Okay. 
okay so this one is supported by volume so this is the Euro AUD chart we can see here that um, let me see this is okay this is an example of a divergence this is a bullish divergence here it is um, um, here is a bullish divergence this to not interrupt so the here is a bullish divergence here is a bullish divergence so when you see this bullish divergence and here is volume support so the volume was trending higher this is this is volume trending higher is it so the volume kept trending higher confirming the trade um, let's see another I want to see if there's another divergence, but there's no divergence till date. So, um, let me see on this area, there's a bullish divergence, there should. So, we'll see that here, the RSI did not drop lower than this level. Did not drop lower than this level, this is it. So, the RSI did not drop lower. Price was dropping lower, alright. Let me zoom in so that we can get to see that space clearly. So, price was dropping lower, and then if you look at this area, you see that the volume did not really support this entry. This is it. And if you look at the larger time frame, you can see that it didn't have volume support. And you can see the price didn't, the market really didn't go higher so you can see it dropped so that was a divergence you can see not supported by volume and you can see that it didn't really go higher so when you have a bullish divergence supported by volume even though price is drawing lower you can expect price to go higher for um, multiple weeks but now this is an, an example of you can see i'm doing this live it's not as if i i wrote it somewhere of or the peer i was going to show you so this is a random um, video and you can see that this one didn't give us a confirmation and I had to zoom out to see what happened to the market and you can see it didn't really go higher much it had to drop again so once you have a bullish divergence a bullish divergence supported by increase in volume though price is dropping lower the market is, is about to change its trend and it's going to help you if you are looking at this on the on the multi on the weekly time frame even if it's an hourly or 30 minutes time frame this is going to be a good opportunity for you to use to trade please watch this video again if you don't understand thank you